Welcome back to Instables, everyone. Again, looking at our intraday and swing trade perspective. Again, looking at our weekly chart here. As you guys can see, we are jumping above our 20 weekly moving average, now jumping above our 50 weekly moving average. Looking to see if we will close next week above our 50 and possibly get our 20 to curl back above our 50 to show us that possible bullish momentum. I'm going to go over exactly what will give us confirmation intraday and from our swing perspective to continue on higher here. And if we do have a rejection like we had prior, again, jumping above our 50 weekly moving average prior here, and then continuing on lower will that happen again i'm gonna go over our bearish case scenario as well hit the like button if you enjoy subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you are a day trader if you're looking for very volatile breakouts we mention them every single day in the intervals room any breakout that is worth looking at throughout the day we mentioned pre-market news two and a half hours before market open as well in the instables room go to instables.com in the description below and for only 15 dollars a month you will never miss the break alert today again let's jump into this one So jumping into the weekly chart with you guys here, looking at our swing trade perspective. Again, we have been looking at our overall strength here. Again, this is our MACD looking at our increase in buy pressure that we just got on Friday. Very significant in my opinion, as we do have our EMU lines crossing above our prior highs here. That could be that continuation and possible bullish case scenario. So again, we're looking to see if our EMU lines do continue on above the median of our MACD here on the weekly chart four swings to continue on higher that will be exactly what we're looking for here and as far as that continuation and confirmation on that swing here again we do have our upper channel that we have been getting rejections from we are making sure that does not happen again we got a false break again here after cpi again after powell spoke we had that false break we did not continue on higher and get that bullish candle structure we also got multiple rejections here prior so again leading into our upper channel on the daily chart as we are looking at a weekly chart as far as swings go we do want that bullish case scenario we want that bullish candle structure here again with the possible spike a possible retest with the pullback and then a possible engulfing candle to follow through that is one type of bullish case scenario that is a bullish candle structure here looking for that possible confirmation on swings that's what swings are looking for now as far as if we are expanding to the upside as you guys can see again we are testing our upper second deviation on our bollinger band that is why this push higher is significant because we are closing a candle pushing into our second deviation again looking for that confirmation on that bullish candle structure but again very much looking for that continuation on pushing into our second deviation which could be decompression to the upside again just making sure we are cautious as we are testing our upper channel is what i would be making sure that i'm watching and now intraday again same thing intraday looking to see if we will continue on past our upper channel here to look to see if we can get more bullish momentum in my opinion we are testing our upper channel. So again, intraday, we're careful. If we have a possible pullback into open, maybe we have a pullback early pre-market and we don't pass 400. We possibly have a pullback. In my opinion, we're very much looking to see if we will possibly bounce back. We are not shorting the market from here with strength unless there's some type of major news that comes out of course about maybe the possible debt ceiling or we'll see exactly what happens as far as news coming out and again we'll mention that in the instables room as always if there's any major news but again just staying cautious as far as playing to the downside and to the upside as well playing cautious because we do have again our resistance here looking for that bullish candle structure from our swing perspective so again as we do look for that bullish candle structure on our swing perspective we are very cautious as we are testing our upper channel intraday so again that is our intraday and swing perspective here now as far as our target and where we would expect to possibly continue on higher from is what i'd be asking myself next and that would be here on our prior rejection that we had just before powell spoke the very next day from cpi in my opinion we want to continue on past that to possibly continue on higher so that bullish candle structure in my opinion would be looking to see if we can again get that engulfing candle and continue on higher here getting that break here for that nice intraday or even swing trade perspective play in my opinion and then from there we would be testing our 416 level from our prior gap down and then our prior rejection that we had on our upper channel here at 428 extremely key these are going to be our next resistances if we do continue on higher but again swings very much looking for that bullish candle structure here looking for again our eme lines on our weekly chart continue on above the median of macd so again that is going to be our confirmation as far as continuing on higher being cautious again still to the upside and definitely being cautious to the downside till we do get more bearish momentum but again we still have that possible bearish case scenario since we do have our EMU line still below the median of MACD and since we do on the daily chart still have our 20 below our 50 assuming that we would possibly need to retest our 20 even if we did continue on higher again possibly getting that 
pullback and retest on our 20 and possibly continuing on higher is what we have to assume since we are still with our 20 below our 50. So now again, with that in mind, if you are a day trader, if you are looking for very volatile breakouts, like I said, in the instables and we mention them every single day, any pre-market news that we need to be watching two and a half hours before market open, we mentioned anything that is worth looking at throughout the day, go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a break alert today again. All of you instables that support the channel, I appreciate you guys. Tomorrow the market is closed, but however, going at it on Tuesday, looking forward to it. Much love to everyone you guys. God bless you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.